Hey guys, today I have three Lorcana, the first chapter Trove boxes, and I was really curious about this game. I'm pretty excited. It's a brand new one. I'm a little late to it, but I still want to open these because I got my hands on them. I got them at my local Target, but I'll probably split this up into like three different videos just to do one per per video to keep it nice and short and uh because i kind of want to look at the cards and uh see what they're like so i'm just gonna dive oh my gosh i'm just gonna dive right into it so in the trove box when you open it up oh that's kind of neat nice that's the box and then you get oops then inside is this nice smaller box you open it up you get a player guide I'm gonna need this because I'm gonna have to look up how to play because I don't know how to play yet but I definitely plan on uh, probably continuing with this two deck boxes I assume a Mickey Mouse one and a Cinderella or someone else I don't even know I don't know all the Disney characters it's been a long time I grew up uh, in the early 2000s so uh yeah we got some uh counters as well in here and then we also have eight packs so uh yeah i'm pretty excited to jump into these we'll put some of these back take a look at the player guide in a bit and just jump in to these packs see what we can get so i don't really know too much about these cards yet but I'm super, super excited to learn. But yeah, that's what you can kind of like expect on the channel. There's a bunch of main character point of view stuff. I guess it kind of just means, you know, um, what I think is cool collectible wise. And uh, this is uh, definitely a brand new, uh, interesting, uh, good card game potentially. So yeah, we have Scar, Healing Glow. Doctor <laughs> Facilier, Horus, Jasmine, Simba, and our uncommon will be Maximus, Smash, Shield of Virtue, and then a rare, I think, is do it again with a Scar Rare. Oh, oh, cool. And then our foil is he's got a sword, which is a common. But it's nice to start getting all the foils. And then we get this card back. Hold on, let me go get some sleeves. And I'm back with the sleeves. And I got some top loaders as well to put some of these foils in. Because I guess these will be the rare cards to collect. And then we got this little extra card. Which is kind of neat, I guess. So two rares, three uncommons, a whole bunch of commons. I guess let's continue. Um, I don't really know what the rarest cards look like yet, but uh, I do know, I did look up the symbols a little bit. So I know kind of what's a common like that. Tinkerbell. Ooh, nice. We're getting a lot of, like, action cards. And then our uncommon. Another uncommon. Coconut basket. It's an item. Our rare is Dr. Facilier. Again. And then John Silver. Oh, what is that? What does that rarity mean? That's a legendary. Okay. Okay, so we got our first legendary with a foil. So I guess I'll sleeve up this legendary. I'm not, I don't know if it is super hard to get, but we'll see how many le different legendaries we get throughout all these packs. There we go. Control your temper. And I dropped a few sleeves. And John Silver. Pretty cool cards. I like these foil cards. I think they actually look pretty good. Third pack. Oh, 
Oops. Third pack. We got Goofy. Nice. Love to see Goofy. Um, I didn't know how to say that name. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, Donald Duck. Beast Smear. Prince Philip. Another Donald Duck. Pretty cool. Another Donald Duck. Ooh, nice. The Rock. And then Marshmallow. I like that card. And I believe that's a super rare. So we need to make room for that. Ooh. And then a Foil Poisoned Apple. That looks pretty neat. One. Banish this item. Exert chosen character. For Princess characters chosen, banish her instead. That seems pretty powerful. But we will see as we learn to play and hopefully you guys will come on that adventure because yeah I will definitely be collecting a whole bunch more of these cards either way I'm happy to start off the collection I was I felt pretty lucky to get some of these uh, boxes because um, it was actually a Lego day but yeah then I remember that these came out and I was like oh yeah I might as well try so should have got probably a few more Jafar, the Duke, Maleficent, Aladdin, Rafiki, Uncommon. Need to organize these a little bit. Dr. Facilier's Cards, Aurora, Uncommon, Plasma Blaster as our rare. Aw, Lilo as a rare, and Tigger as a foil. I don't even know if like these are good foils to get, but they're just pretty cool. What do we get? This that dropped. I think that Tigger card looks pretty awesome. Evasive. Only characters with evasive can challenge this character. I think it's pretty strong as well. It seems good solid cost, it seems. Six. We will, con like I said, we'll continue to learn. Ooh, wow, this pack feels heavy. A lot of these packs feel heavy, to be honest, which is kind of interesting. I'm glad there's a lot of cards per pack. So I actually want to play the game, so hopefully I can get enough cards. That, we have Aladdin. Minnie Mouse. Friends on the other side. Megara. Flounder. Break. A whole bunch of commons, which I really appreciate. Ariel. A Kronk. Captain. A rare Yago. Nice. Super rare. Robin Hood. And our last one is Friends on the other side for it, which is a common. Some of these foils must be really, really difficult to get, but man, they look awesome. I could definitely see the desire to want to collect these for sure. A character that costs three or more can something sing this song for free, draw two cards. Oh, that can definitely be powerful. Draw in any game is very good. I play a lot of Hearthstone still to this day. I played it since 2015, and uh, so. I do like my card games when it comes to that. Definitely uh, college, lo love to play some poker as well. Sergeant Tibbs. Dinglehopper. Which is an item card. Yasma. Stolen Scimitar item card. Aurora Briar Rose. Tinkerbell Tiny Tactician. Reflection, which is a song, action song card. Flynn Rider, Charming Rogue. Triton. Ariel R Rare. And a Jafar Rare. With a Genie Hollow, which that is a super rare. On the job. 
pretty. I love, man, these foils look really, really good. And I just dropped all my sleeves. We will have to get that later. That looks like a fantastic card. We will read it in a second. Evasive. Only characters with evasive can challenge this character. Okay, so evasive is pretty common actually. Disappear. When you play this character, you may return chosen character to their player's heart to their player's hand. That's kind of exactly what I thought a genie card would do, to be honest. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Oh no. Oh god. I am a disaster right now. We got Tangle. That's our common. Oh no. Stitch. Okay, I'm not gonna try that. Stampede. Wow. That is messed up. Work together. Simba. When you play this character, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's a good early game card. For sure. Goofy as our uncommon. Lilo Galactic Hero. Seems like a pretty standard card. Dragon Fire. Sword of Truth. Banish this item. Banish chosen a villain character. Ursula. Which is a. That's a legendary card. Nice. Very neat. With a Captain Hook. Foil. Nice. Man, I'm feeling like this is pretty solid. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen anyone else open these. Um, so, I don't know what you could possibly get. Um, well, as I saw, I know there's the rarest, which is like Enchanted or something. But, so the super rare, uncommon Captain Hook. Let's do the Captain Hook first. Just make sure that focuses. There you go. Challenger, plus two while challenging this character gets plus two. Good early game card, I think. Ursula, it's too easy when you play this character. Each opponent loses one lore. You may draw a card for each one lore lost this way. That seems pretty good as well. I'm really curious what cards are considered act, like actually, actually good. But the ones I'm reading, they seem pretty solid. Pretty standard. Setting good standards for the game is really nice. There we go. We got Gaston, Hakuna Matata, Magic Broom, Sudden Chill, oh god, I'm not pronouncing that, Captain Hook, the non-hollow, we got, oh, oops, Sven, Jumba Jukaba, One Jump Ahead Action Song, uh, Rare Musketeer to Bard, Hans, as our next super rare, with a foil rare grab your sword action song card deal two damage to each opposing character Con character like a consecration nice oh so it can be free if they sing it that sounds pretty solid as well so it's interesting that you do get a foil per pack definitely makes collecting them a lot more interesting because uh, it's possible but it's definitely a grind as well for each foil, but out of that, we did get three super rares, two legendaries. There we go. Our two legendaries being John Silver and Ursula. And then our foils we got a rare, a common, super rare, common, uncommon, rare, common, common. But some of these cards seem pretty good, so I'm pretty excited to have them in foil. So this will be part one. In part two, we will open up one of those two next. Stay tuned. Till next time, I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.